You're awesome, man. Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Don't make assumptions. Ask for what you want. Find the courage to ask for what you want. Others have the right to tell you yes or no, but you always have the right to ask. Likewise, everyone has the right to ask you for what they want, and you have the right to say yes or no. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 425. NASDAQ is down 245. S&P's flat gold contract down fifth, $17.50, trading at 1681 an ounce. You get silver flat, $25.24 an ounce. Light sweet crude down a buck twenty-six, sixty-four dollars eighty-three cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. We have the ten-year down fifteen at one thirty-two thirty-one. Thirty-year at one fifty-eight oh nine. And king dollar. King dollar is up at three hundred and seventy-nine ticks, trading ninety-two three fifty-six. The euro is at one eighteen. The yen is at one hundred eight point eight seven. The British pounds at one thirty-eight to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, it's going to get really interesting here. We're watching this whole thing shake out, folks. So, SPY right now trading flat, down 29 cents, actually. Came down hard last Thursday. Came off, came off the highs. We get down to the 371 area. Now, when you look at the 371 area, folks, okay, you can actually bring the SPY all the way back to basically December. I suspect that this is pretty going to be pretty close to the bottom of the consolidation that I think we've just flipped into. I suspect the SPY, the SPY could get into, you know, well, you got to, let's see, we got a, we got a 368 to 364. That's kind of what I'm, that's kind of what I'm looking at out here. I. Uh, what you're going to have out here today is that the SPY is going to fail on price and volume today. That is saying that, okay, guess what? Next couple of days, we're going to try to make our way down to the lower end of the consolidation. In this particular case, the first price target would be the 371. We go into the NDX 100. We take a look at the NDX 100, which is the weakest indice out here. Most valued, largest, and weakest indice. Couldn't hold price out here today. This, this, the Qs came down hard. They come down off their highs of uh, this $338, your 301. They, the Qs basically have come all the way back to the uh, October of uh, 2020 area. And we'll see how it's going to basically play out at that area, at that high volume low. We have a high volume low from Friday. Bottom line, I expect number one. That's going to get hit. And number two, that, that it will basically dig in only a few more points. I'm not, I'm not looking for this thing to really get a lot lower. Um, or when I say not a lot lower, like the, the Qs can get to about 285. And right now you're at 301. Got to be really intriguing watching this whole thing shake out. The IWM. We take a look at the small caps out here inside the small caps. That's going to be a major failure out here today. You're up 83 cents, but this thing looks like it's going to fail. That being said, the IWM is game. We're at 218 on the IWM, 197 is game. Now, let's look at the divergence. The divergence is that you're going to go over to the Dow Industrials. We hit a new all-time high out here today, and you are going to have a failure on price and volume. Uh, we get to a price point today of uh, 32,148. Right now, you're at 31,909. And the bottom of the consolidation, now watch how this shakes out. The bottom of the consolidation inside of the, IW, uh, inside of the Dow Industrials wouldn't be the low that was established last Thursday. That would be the low that was established out here in January. And when you take a look at that, we start talking about uh, 29,900, which actually brings you back to the highs that were established out here in November of 2020. Uh, it's going to get really intriguing. 
when, when you take a look at this market, what you have is that we came off the highs, you came down hard and fast, you did a nice pop on Friday, Dow goes to a high, two other indices get higher, reject higher price, want lower price, that flips you into, con in cons into consolidation. When I take a look at this, that, and then, well, here, th there's one part of it. Now let's go to the next part of it. The next part of it is going to be the note and bond market. So first we go to the 10-year treasury. So watch how this is shaking out right now. Where on the June contract, you get the 10-year down 16 ticks right now. You are hammering this bottom, and your volume has got exponentially lighter. I mean, in a monster way. Your first downdraft out here on this uh, uh, had the 600,000 contracts traded. We get into that with 500,000 contracts. Now you're dealing with 314,000 contracts. Okay, you're going to need a lot more contract volume in order to bust that thing into lower price. We go take a look at the 30 year, 30 year bond. 30 year, same type of setup. Right now, the 30 year is down 15 ticks also. The first leg down, fast and furious. No doubt this bond market was fast and furious on the way down. It, it's always fast and furious on the way down. The, the thing that blows my mind sometimes about when you hear the fastness of the move, meaning in the markets in general. Okay, but let's just talk about the bond market for a second. You hear the fastness of the move, meaning that, that yields always go higher. What, what happens in markets, folks, okay, markets and this is just about every market that you want to trade. Markets crawl on the way up. You know, you get some signs of strength, but they crawl on the way up. When markets turn, that's where that whole elevator shaft comes in. They, I haven't, I've never seen a market, uh, I don't know about never, but let's say 90%. I've never seen markets come down slow. When markets turn, right, they drop, boom. And I'm talking about any type of market. I don't care what you're trading. You could be trading tea leaves, okay? The bottom line, whether it's real estate, whether it's cars, when things happen, they happen. 30 year right now, you can see very light volume. Hasn't rejected lower price yet, but I expect that's exactly what we're going to have. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.